Hello and welcome. In this episode, we will review a new feature in Dynamics 365 for supply chain management. The feature is called Plan Order Firming with Filtering. This feature became available in version 10.0.19. Once that feature is enabled, we will see a brand new menu item under Master and Planning module. Master Planning, Run, Plan Order Firming. This job here is used to filter and firm planned orders. Let's review the options available. The first one is stop firming if an error occurred. If this option is turned on, it will stop firming all planned orders if an error is detected in at least one of the orders. The second option here is paralyze firming. It's recommended to turn it on if you have a lot of planned orders that need to be firmed. Below here are standard firming options that control marking, grouping by vendor or by buyer group or by period for purchase orders and grouping by period for the transfer orders. Under plan, here we can filter on a specific master plan. And here we have firming time fences. So those time fences are used to decide whether or not a planned order should be included in that firming run. So if the order date of that planned order falls within a range defined by those two fences, then it will be included. So here we define a firming fence forward as 10 days from today and backwards as one day from today. So that means any date from yesterday to 10 days forward should be included. Once we have that, let's just check how many planned orders will fall within that range. We can do that by clicking on preview button right here. In the top here, we'll see that we have 15 orders included so far. So if we were to proceed with that run, we will firm 15 orders. If, for example, we change a forward time fence from 10 to 20, and then click on preview, we will see that the order uh, number of orders have been increased from 15 to 20. We can also click on the filter to further filter the plan orders that will be firm. Here we see that filter that we applied using those time fences. So today is 618, so 617, which is yesterday. So this is a backward fence one day, and then plus 20 days, which gives us 78. But we can also apply other filtering criteria, for example, warehouse, site, or a reference. Once we're happy with that selection, we can then either run this job manually or set it up as the periodic batch job. In this case, we will run it manually. Once the job stopped executing, we can review our messages here. We see that some planned orders were not firmed because vendor was not authorized or the vendor was missing. So th that is all. It's a nice feature that allows you to filter and firm planned orders using a periodic job or manually. This is a good alternative to firm your orders using uh, a all planned orders form. It gives you more control in the options and the plan orders that will be included. And the good thing is that this job will work with any plan orders, including the, including the ones that were generated using the planning optimization feature that allows you to generate plan orders using Azure Cloud. That is all for now. Until the next time, take care.